Hey guys, got another piece of high-speed video equipment here. This is a Kodak Ektapro high-spec processor. That's an electronic image recorder for the uh, Ektapro 1000 imager. Um, got this off eBay for 100 bucks. I think the reason it was so cheap is because it doesn't include the cable that goes between the uh, imager and the processor or the uh, remote control. So it's not it's not usable without those. So I'll have to try to figure out a way to get around that. Uh, this does seem to work. Sold is working. This does power up and it displays something. The test pattern. Uh, but we've got to figure out a way to connect the imager. I think I have a bit of a stupid way of doing it. Okay, not exactly usable, but this should be enough for testing. Okay, it seems to be doing something. A little bit of noise. And yes, we do seem to be. Uh, getting an image out of it, so it does work. Although, as I said, I don't have any keyboards, so I can't control it. I notice this requires a vast amount of more light than the uh, other high-speed camera I've been using, the one that I built uh, myself. Some of these old sensors are a lot less sensitive than the newer ones. If we put the flashlight here there, now you can start to see it. And if you see it right in, it starts to uh, cause image problems. Let's just take a quick look inside this. Uh, I'm not going to do a full teardown yet, I want to try to get it running first. But, uh, starting from the left, we have, look at all that uh, ETO RAM. That's uh, 27 sticks of 32 megabytes each for 864 megabytes. That's about 18 or 19 seconds record time at 1000 frames per second. And just because it's ETO, and of this size, dates the system to something around the mid-90s. Um, those boards are surface mount. You see some uh, surface mount caps down there, but everything else is through hole. Numerous different boards with uh, interconnects on the top. There's a back plane on the bottom as well. Um, this board looks interesting. This has the big uh, cables from the front connectors going to it. This is supported uh, two separate imagers. This one says IID, that one says IIA. I'm assuming that's digital and that one's analog. The ones with the analog connectors have numerous uh, hybrid vertical SIP package hybrid circuits. That's going to be interesting to look at later. Anyway, I'll put this back together, then we're going to try to find out a way to uh, find or make a cable and replicate or find a keypad. Now, I looked into buying these connectors. These are a newer cast them, but they're $480 each with a 25 order min 25 uh, piece minimum order, so that's obviously out of the question. Let's just keep searching eBay or see if anyone has one of these cables. This does have GPIB, which is probably for downloading images and maybe also for control, but I have to find a manual to, to know uh, what uh, control commands there are. The image sensor looks almost identical to the SP2000's image sensor, although it's missing that very large uh, parallel bus on one side. I believe this one reads out 16 rows at a time instead of 32, which halves the frame rate down to 1000 frames per second at the same 192 by uh, 240 resolution. Look for more videos on this in the future. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it running, and whether or not I get it running, I'll certainly do a teardown. Anyway, hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.